Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Sunday the 21st of August 2022, which is the 10th Sunday after Trinity. This service is coming to you from the benefits of Chew Valley East and you can download the service sheet from the lakesidegroup.org website. Then you can join in saying the words in bold which we say together and then with the Psalms and Canticles you can also just say them along with me or you can let me recite the first verse and then you carry on with the second verse. Uh, so if I say the even, the odd numbers, you can say the even numbers. Let's take a moment to calm ourselves and bring ourselves into God's presence. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all. To you be praise and glory for ever, as your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 103, verses 1 to 8. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is in with, within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion. Who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He has made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah chapter 52 and it's verses 9b to 14. You shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help and he will say, here I am. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom be like the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repair, repairer of the breach the restorer of streets to live in. If you refrain from trampling the Sabbath, from pursuing your own interests on my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the holy day of the Lord honourable, if you honour it not going your own ways, serving your own interests or pursuing your own affairs, then you shall take delight in the Lord and I shall make you ride upon the heights of the earth and I will feed you with the heritage of your ancestor Jacob, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Our Old Testament canticle from 1 Chronicles. Splendour and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head over all. Blessed are you, God of Israel, for ever and ever. For yours is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendour and the majesty. Everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom of O Lord and you are exalted as head over all. 
Riches and honour come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might. Yours it is to give power and strength to all. And now we give you thanks, O God, and praise your glorious name. For all things come from you, and of your own have we given you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Splendour and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head over all. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 13, verses 10 to 17. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for 18 years. She was bent over and was quite unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are set free from your ailment. When he laid his hands upon her, immediately she stood up straight and began praising God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, kept saying to the crowd, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured, and not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, You hypocrites! Does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to give it water? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen long years, be set free from this bondage on the Sabbath day? When he said this, all his opponents were put to shame, and the entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things that he was doing. Our responsory from Paul's letter to the Colossians. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. You have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth, and Christ shall give you light. When Christ our life appears, you will appear with him in glory. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. The Benedictus, our Gospel Canticle. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. Our intercessory prayers for home and for the world. To the words, Lord God, please respond, you are our hope. Lord God, you are our hope. Let us pray to the God who has loved us throughout our whole life. Lord our God, broad our vision of your nature and help us to respond to your calling, whether it suits us or not, and whether it is convenient or not. Lord God, you are our hope. May the whole church reflect your light and beauty in the love for God and for neighbour, displayed in corporate worship and individual godly living. 
Lord God, you are our hope. May no corruption, cruelty or injustice go unchallenged in any part of our world, however unpopular the challenging may be. May our society protect the vulnerable and encourage mutual care and support. Lord God, you are our hope. May our care of the very young and the very elderly imitate the faithful and generous caring of our God. May we overcome our envies, jealousies and grievances so that in God's love we can look at one another face to face and practice the liberating work of forgiveness. Lord God, you are our hope. May all whose bodies cause them pain or immobility be affirmed in value by loving encounter with Jesus and his followers and may those who are spiritually crippled be set free to love and serve God. Lord God, you are our hope. May those who have died in faith live forever in the joy and peace of heaven as children of promise. And may those who miss their company be comforted and supported. Lord God, you are our hope. May our gratitude to the one who sets us free be shown each day in the way we live and speak. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect for this week. Let your merciful ears, O Lord, be open to the prayers of your humble servants, and that they may obtain their petitions, make them to ask such things as shall please you, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.